I'm back with an update on Tropical Cyclone Shanin Gulab with 75 mile an hour winds. I'm actually just going to have these separate videos. Um, but as expected, to go up to 85 mile an hour winds overnight. Landfalling probably was something higher than 90 mile an hour winds, considering it's this far inland with 90 mile an hour winds. So we're looking at 95, if not 100 mile an hour winds at landfall. That is not going to be good. Um, Dubai is definitely going to have major impacts. Um, along with the entire coast, this whole bay area is going to get... Gulf of Oman is going to get battered by this thing. Parts of Iran is already getting battered by this thing. Um, but 70 mile an hour winds um, going into the United Emirate, Arab Emirates and eventually going into Saudi Arabia. But anyway, satellite imagery. And yeah. Um, but those of you along the immediate coastline, I recommend evacuating inland, if at all possible. Um, and actually, while well, this is angled, Dubai should be spared from the majority of the storm surge. But keep in mind the new moon's coming up. So that would be a bit of an issue there. Um, but nonetheless, that does seem to be a fright now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.